Today, I'm going to share the tale of two coaches who work in the same space to the same niche, but have vastly different businesses. It's actually pretty shocking. So stick with me. Hey guys, what's going on? Uriel came here. Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Winning. And today I'm going to share uh, very quickly uh, a story of two individuals who work in the same space, multiple sclerosis. Okay, so they help people with MS, but have dramatically different businesses. One of them is a client of ours. The other is not. So one of our clients, Karen, has been an MS coach now for several years. She actually had MS recovered and has been able to help hundreds of women over the past couple of years uh, transform their health. And we're talking about like going from wheelchair to walking, from going uh, from relying on canes to being able to walk upstairs, uh, just truly remarkable transformations. Now, she's also built a very nice business. Before working with us, she was doing okay, doing a lot of stuff, a little bit of return, not much. And she was just tired of the grind, one of the free challenges and the launches and all the stuff that people do. And so now, um, as of this recording, she's doing, the last we spoke, about 65000 per month. Pretty nice, right? It's allowed her to travel a lot more with her two daughters. They're able to go to Disney World, uh, do some cr- cool stuff together that they hadn't had the opportunity to do beforehand. She was able to pay for a lot of their stuff for school, for proms, a lot of just nice stuff that parents you know, want to do for their kids. And then... The other person, I'll, who I'll keep anonymous just for the sake of privacy. So this individual had booked a call with us. She's also someone who had MS or has MS, helps people with MS, but a very, very different business. Charges $200 for a course, has enrolled about a dozen or so people. Most of those people didn't even show up and do anything. I wonder why. And um, she's made a few thousand dollars in her business. Okay, so... Very, very different business, very different outcomes, very different lives. This individual over here lives on disability, and this one over here has for the life of freedom. So what is, what's the difference? What's the difference between these two individuals? Now, I'm not saying that working with us is why there's the difference. Now, obviously, it makes a huge difference, but it's the mindset. It's the mentality. And I want to share the mentality that keeps a lot of people broke, which is prospect over here. So this individual didn't want to do live enrollment calls for prospective clients. She had a mindset around sales that was very unhealthy. And as a result, she has thought that she could whip together a page with a buy now button for $200 and people would buy. And that's exactly what she got. $200 buyers who didn't show up and do anything. As a result of that, you can do the math, right? 200 times about a dozen people, what, 24, 2,500 bucks? Not a lot of money. We're talking about over the past like two years in business. So She doesn't believe that she needs to do enrollment calls to charge a higher price because she has a mindset issue around charging in the first place, having conversations with people about selling. So there's a mindset block there. The second thing, uh, and this is an individual who actually spoke with us about potentially having us help her. She got hung up on the fact that she didn't want to move tech platforms, right? Part of what we do with our clients is we help them build out the tech of their funnel and all this kind of stuff. And she was saying that she didn't want to do that. Okay, cool. Like even if we, even if you stayed on your current tech platform, you have to understand like that's the least important thing we do with clients. Like, yeah, like the tech is nice, but as I've said before, if your if your sole focus is the technology and not the psychology of your marketplace, you're toast. And I was, was reviewing this conversation and there was a handful of moments where I knew exactly where this person was because their, their main focus in the conversation was around the tech. And I'm like, you're so toast. Like, you're so lost. You have no idea. And that, that's fine, right? But also very resistant to want to change because she felt that what she was doing was a better option. So here's why I'm sharing this is that when you're talking with people, just understand that for the same issue, the same problem that someone has, there are going to be a lot of people who say no. There will be a lot of people who want to think about it and then give you this beautiful email afterwards with the truth, um, which is essentially just why couldn't we have talked about that on the call? And a lot of times, even though people say they want what they want, they actually don't. They don't. They're, They're okay in their situation. Like this individual here, her situation was not bad enough. She had disability income coming in, right? So what's the, what's the big deal? Now, if that disability income were severed and gone, I bet you'd be a different scenario, right? People don't change unless they have to change, right? The pain of your current situation has to be very, very high, at least relative to the pain of perceived change. 
you know, and for someone to worry about like a little tech detail or a little thing here and there to prevent them from getting the system and coaching they need that they said makes sense for them to build the business they want is pretty unfortunate. And I'm sure you've experienced this. You've spoken with people who for the same problem, some people are like, let's do this. And other people are like, uh... I'm just going to figure some stuff out. I think I know how to do this already. I'm going to go a different route. I'm going to go a cheaper route, et cetera. And the difference is dramatic because what happens if you think about this is if you think about a graph, right? So here we are now and here we are in the future. There's two paths this can go. Path number one is what we call the success line. And it goes up like this. And at the end of that is winning. The other option is going down. And this is called the drift line or the struggle bus. And this is a red line that goes in the opposite direction. And when people decide that they are going to do something on their own or go with a cheaper option, i.e. a shittier option, and they try to cut corners or they give up on their dream because it's a little bit uncomfortable, that's the path they choose. And this is what this prospect chose. I'm not saying that we are the best option for everyone all the time. But when someone's on the call and they're like, yes, 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 this is exactly what I'm looking for. And then they give you excuses after, you know, obviously part of it is they're not telling us the truth in the, in the, in the call in the first place. All that to say is that a lot of people, I believe, do the best they can based on their current situation. And part of the challenge of living in a Western country is that it's pretty good. Life's pretty good. You got disability coming in, you got governments, whatever. Uh, you got a roof over your head, you have an office, you have a computer, you have a phone. Life's pretty good. Why change, right? And most people will stay in their shit as opposed to getting out of the shit and trying something different or something new. In the human, The human brain, the human condition is so fascinating. We will stay in horrifying situations because it's certain as opposed to venturing out into uncertainty. What if this doesn't work? What if, what if, what if? Well, here's, here's how winners think. What if this does work? It's a really simple shift, right? Losers think about what if this doesn't work and all the reasons why it might not. And that's why they drift onto that red line. Winners, they either say, what if this does work? Possibility, right? Or I will make this work no matter what. And they just find a way. They just find a way. Because even for the same situation, we all have different thermostats. So someone might be living on disability and for them, they're okay with that. And someone else might be like, this is, this is catastrophic. I need to change. At the same time, you might have someone who's making a million dollars a month in their business and it's the end of the world to them versus someone else is making a million dollars per month in their business. And they're like, I'm done. I'm chill. I'm good. I don't need to do anything. So it's all relative. And my encouragement to you is to help people understand the choice, the decision that they're about to make. Because when they are speaking with you, they're at a pivotal moment where those two lines, the green and the red, are closest together. And from that conversation with you, they either go onto the green line and win, or they choose to go or stay on the red line and eventually lose. But at that moment they're speaking with you, they've raised their hand to say, there's a certain amount of pain in my life that I'm willing to do maybe, I'm willing to maybe do something about it, but it's happening here. The challenge though is the longer they wait down the road, once they've made that decision, right, the bigger the gap is. And for someone to jump from the red line or the bottom all the way back up to the green is a very big ask. And so you have the opportunity to help people see this, to say, listen, here's the two directions this can go, right? You can keep doing what you're doing, you can keep your money, and you get to keep your problems. How does that feel? Congratulations. And it's only going to get worse. Oh, no, I think like, well, if, if it hasn't gotten better already, why do you think it'll get better all of a sudden moving forward, right? What got you here is not going to get you there. If you knew how to get where you wanted to go, you'd already be there. Or option two is we go on the green line and we get where you want to go. Because the very fact is, it's not even the fact that you or me are like the world's best coach or we have the world's best recipe to, to achieve success. The most important thing is understanding that the transformation happens at the transaction. You see, when that individual has the opportunity on that con- in that conversation with you to say, I am worth a bigger future. I know that I've been playing small. I can't keep staying here. I am worth it. I'm worth investing in myself. And the very fact that they make that investment in themselves, they become a lot more proactive to actually do what's needed to win. So like, I mean, and I mentioned this before, you can like, let's just say as an example, we were to work together. If you did not invest in yourself, and I like work with me, for instance, the likelihood that you take the same information and do something with it is very, very slim. But if I charged you $100,000 to watch my YouTube videos and you're like, here you go, 
even though those YouTube videos are still the same free accessible YouTube videos, I promise you, you would be studying those videos and executing on them day and night to make sense of your investment. And that's why I say the transformation happens at the transaction. It's your opportunity to help people see that nothing's going to change until they change. And the only way people are going to change is if the current state that they're in is more painful than the perceived pain of change, the effort they have to make, the sacrifice they have to make. And one of the most effective ways to help people do that and see that is to help them get to the end. Like, hey, let's talk, let's, let's talk about you in a year from now at the top of that green line where you've already won. Like, just put yourself in that body, that version of yourself. What is that successful, already achieved what you want version of you? Tell this version of you now. Because the reality is in order to get where you want to go, you have to make decisions from who you are here, not here. Because up until now, you've been making decisions from this version of you. And that's gotten to you, that's gotten you to where you are now. But that same mentality, that same mindset is not going to get you to where you want to go. Einstein famously said that we cannot solve a problem with the same thinking that created it. So we fundamentally have to make a decision from our future self, the version of ourselves in the future that is successful. That version of you that knows everything's going to be fine. That version of you that knows you have what it takes. That version of you that has the courage, that has crossed the chasm and on the other side is like, it's all good. You can do this. And that's the version of you, that self-identity version of you that needs to make the decision today because otherwise it never happens. Unfortunately, percentage-wise, most people are making decisions from the old version of themselves that has looped patterns and stories and bullshit that has kept them exactly where they are month after month, year after year. And you as a coach, as an expert, have the opportunity to help someone break that cycle to get uncomfortable because it's not going to be comfortable because it's something new, but from a place of I care about you and I'm not willing to let you go here because of some story, you have the opportunity to help someone move in a direction of where they want to go. And that's why I wanted to share that with you today because I see this all the time. Like for every practitioner or coach we speak to who says this can't work, we have clients inside of our program who are crushing it in the same space. Medical doctors who are freaking out about like, oh my God, the legalities of my license. Like blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, we have their freaking colleagues in our program making $100,000 to $175,000 per month helping so many people. Meanwhile, this person is like, I don't know if I can do this, blah, 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 blah. Just shut the fuck up. Don't talk about changing anything unless you're willing to do it. And I get there's uncertainty. I get it. But you have to understand that's part of the journey. So you either allow your fear to rule your life or you feel the fear and do it anyways. Because it's not that winners don't feel fear. They just say, fuck it. I understand it's totally normal to feel that way. And I'm going to use courage. I'm going to flex that courage muscle, which does not feel good, by the way, because my dream is bigger than my doubt. But a lot of people don't get the dream because the doubt is bigger. So understand that right now, where you are sitting, standing, watching this video, there is someone who does exactly what you do. Exactly. Serving the same market. And there are many people that do exactly what you do. And some of those people are struggling in business. And some of your very exact colleagues are absolutely crushing it helping a hundred times more people, making a hundred times more money, living a life that is just on their terms. And I want you to just let that sink in for a second because hopefully it bothers you. My goal here is to stir up a little bit of bother inside of you because you don't change unless you're uncomfortable. And I don't know about you, but if you think you're awesome at what you do and your bank account doesn't reflect that and the lifestyle you're living doesn't reflect that, don't, don't, don't let that be okay. Like, re- like get pissed off. Use that anger to fuel you in a positive direction. Why should other people who are less intelligent than you, who are less experienced than you, perhaps, have a much more successful track record, a much more successful business than you? Why should that be the case? And if that bothers you, like, you're well, like, I'm, I'm really, I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how many letters you have behind your name. If you're playing scared, you're always going to play small. And you're better than that. That's disappointing. I'm not here to make anyone feel bad, but you got to realize like there's nothing worse than untapped potential. 
And in business, unfortunately, I mean, we're fortunately, the easiest way to know where we're at is to look at the bank account because that's the scoreboard for the impact you're making in this world. And if you're not making the money you want to make, then you're not changing lives in the way that you think you might be. And there's nothing wrong with making money in the service of other people because that's called an exchange of value. So if like in this prospect's case, if you're making a few grand, supposedly helping people with MS, you're not doing anything. And those people are not doing anything because they're investing a whopping $200 in a course they don't even log into. Meanwhile, our client, Karen, has built a high six-figure, close to seven-figure business now, helping hundreds of women fundamentally transform their health, transform their lives. And as a result, Karen has been able to live a much more enjoyable quality of life. So the choice is always yours. You can go on the green line and win, or you can stay on the drift line and lose. But this series is all about hashtag winning, right? It's called hashtag winning. It's about helping you win. But winning is not an outcome. Winning is a mindset. And winners always find a way to win because they believe, even though there's no path in front of them, perhaps, or even if there is, they don't care what other people have done. They don't need to see everyone else's results. They don't need to funnel hack everyone because they believe in themselves and they will figure it out. People who lose in life are looking for every single reason why something won't work. And that's why it always does not work for them. So you have a choice. Do you want to be a winner or do you want to be a loser? This is a pivotal moment. Every single day, we have the choice to determine who we want to be starting today so that our future self and our future outcomes become what they may. But where you want to be in the future doesn't happen in the future minus one day. It starts today. And it's by the actions and the habits you build over time that create the future that you want. So either way, you're going to get there. But don't be surprised if you get there and you're not where you want to be. Because if you've been living a pretty comfortable life the whole way, the easy life is the hard life. It's a lot easier to make a hard decision and go through a little bit of trial and tribulation to grow because living an easy life comes from going through challenges. And if you're not willing to go through challenges and use courage, you're not going to live the life that you want. Okay? You deserve better than that. I know you, even though we've never met, you have greatness inside of you. Don't play small. Don't play scared. Want to know how one of our clients made $30,000 in one day? Well, let me share with you the mindset secrets that he deployed. 